everybody just back here with another video so it looks like uh, Jugmeet Singh is also making his rounds and apparently he's not very happy with the uh, so-called attack that the conservatives made on him uh, during their uh, recent ad now I guess you could say it was a verbal attack I'm just kind of tired of every every time someone says something negative about someone even though it's true it's somehow an attack like you're just making the other side sound um sorry uh, making the other side sound way more vicious than they actually are so uh, Jugmeet Singh was at the breakfast television studio in Toronto and I just have a little bit of this to play here it's probably about halfway through the video so it's about you know two minutes or just over two minutes uh, so we'll have a look at that and then we'll talk about it after like usual So I do want to ask you about the Conservatives' latest attack ad. Uh, they took aim at you as a person this week rather than your policies. I'm wondering what you make of the Conservative Party's shift in attacks uh, against the governing liberal, Liberals and onto you. Well, I think they're nervous. They know that what we're talking about makes a lot of sense. We're going after corporate greed. We're saying that big corporations shouldn't rip you off. People are thinking that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so they're attacking me personally, which I'm, I'm used to that. I don't mind that. But they're also lying. And, and those lies, they know they're lying. Because they know the reason why we're forcing Justin Trudeau to do things is because we want to give people dental care. We want to give people pharmacare. We want to give people some dignity and some help. And we're using our power in Parliament to fight for that. And I think they want to distract from the fact that Pierre Polyev wants to strip that away from people. He's been very open about wanting to take away dental care. And people are not receiving and saying, well, I don't want them to take away my dental care. That's, that's a bad thing. So now he's trying to distract with these type of dishonest attacks. But we're going to keep on fighting for people. With respect, though, the Liberals have lost, you know, 20 points nationally, but your party doesn't seem to have brought in those disengaged Liberal voters. Take a look at the, you know, Toronto St. Paul's by-election. That recent by-election, the NDP lost vote share, um, even though the NDP hold it provincially. So what do you make of that? Well, we're seeing a lot of folks across the country touring with this Change the Rules tour, and seeing a lot of people excited about what we have to offer. We're seeing people now start to get the benefits. We're seeing more and more seniors going to the dentist and getting their teeth fixed. And so people are realizing, you know, what we fought for is actually improving their lives. And now we're saying, well, we know you're getting ripped off by big corporations. We want to fight back against them to actually give you a break. The liberals under Justin Trudeau aren't doing enough. They've let you down. They failed you. And Pierre Polyev wants to put fuel on the fire of corporate He wants to let those corporations rip you off even more. So we're offering an alternative. And, and we're starting to see people see that, you know, that's a good alternative for us. Well, the numbers suggest otherwise, though. Well, it's going to take some time, I'm sure, but I'm hearing from folks that are saying, you know what, uh, my, my grandparents got to get their teeth cleaned for the first time in their lives, got their teeth fixed, and that's changed their lives, and we're so thankful. And more and more of those folks are going to realize that we fought for them when we delivered something real. We can fight to make sure we lower the price of groceries as well. Jack Mate saying, thank you so much for being so, I mean, you can see the, the kind of look on her face. I know it's kind of hard to see from the side there, but at the end when he's talking about yeah well you know people uh we're, we, we might not be recovering any points from the concert from the liberal loss but people are very excited and you can just kind of like what like no one's excited about your campaign the liberals who are on the left far left as with the ndp who's also on the far left you're losing voters con to conservatives what's there to be excited about i mean <laughs> it doesn't make any sense he should be, I thought things would go a little bit better for him when people started leaving the Liberal Party in droves, that they would go over to the other far left party, but they're not. They actually seem to be getting really, really tired of the far left and view the conservative parties, even though it's a right wing party, they're more center to right, where the Liberals and the NDP are just far left. And even a lot of Liberal and ND, NDP MPs would agree with that because they've made anonymous calls to journalists to you know news stations like this saying hey listen we've become too far left we need to get back to the center or else we're going to lose the election right if liberal voters are pissed off and you're the other liberal option or the other left-wing option yeah you should be very nervous that people aren't coming over to your side they're going over to pierre polyev right now, in terms of some of the claims Jugmeet Singh made, you know, he wants to get rid of dental care. He's never, ever, ever said that. They might not agree how he goes about it, but he's never said he's going to get rid of dental. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You know, and, and again, you know, as this lady mentioned, the liberals have lost 20 points. They're not just down a little bit. They're down 20 points. The 
the NDP, they're also down in the polls. They have not gained a single bit. I would, I thought that they would at least get a few of those voters, but they, they're not. They're actually down in the polls too. I can actually uh, <clears throat> see if I can show you that as well, where you can see. And these polls were done as of last Sunday by 338 Canada. So you can see here, I mean, 18%. I think last time they were at 17%. So I guess they're up one. Uh, their bar rock bottom was 15. So they're up three from that. But I mean, that's not going to get you anywhere you need to win the election. Not to mention a lot of these NDP votes are going to come from Hamilton Center, where I live, where there's a big population. But the popular vote doesn't matter. You got to win certain ridings. Yeah, he's going to win this riding probably. Not if I have something to say about it, but again, I'm only one person. Uh, but that being said, he's he's not going to win. Like he's going to apparently he's losing in Northern Ontario, which is usually an NDP, NDP a bunch of NDP writings up there. Uh, uh, some of them are going conservative. He's not gaining at all, and you can tell like, every time he talks, it's just the same stuff. Oh, we're getting ripped off by the grocery stores. We're going to put a cap price on it, which no one believes he'll actually do. Every time the NDP gets in charge of any city, what happens? It becomes worse. They're not doing anything to help. Apparently, Andrea Horwath, who's the mayor of Hamilton, said that she wants to start building some tiny homes, which I've been an advocate of. Get people off the street. It's better than nothing for sure. But again, they do a lot of talking. Just like me. But I'm not a politician. I can't do anything about it. They can and they won't. They just pander. Now, again, you can criticize the conservatives for doing that in the past, for sure. However, it's the liberals, along with the NDP right now, who is in power. And if Jugmeet Singh really believed in these price caps, which I believe Justin Trudeau also came out and said he wants to do, why have they done it? Oh, maybe maybe because those very rich companies are putting money in your pocket. Maybe not law blah specific, uh, specifically, but you know they're receiving campaign money from one of them and you can't piss off your donors. And if since you need incredibly rich people to get on your back to win in politics these days, you're not going to do that by pissing them off and capping their profits. The best way to do this is not to cap profits, is to actually enforce free and fair capitalism, free and fair markets. Here's a one thing, here's one way you could do it. You find small businesses. Small businesses usually charge more because they're not buying in bulk as much for one reason. Or for that's one of the reasons why. So what you can do. If you really wanted price to come, prices to come down, you would give these smaller businesses tax breaks, even more tax breaks that, and, and with exchange that they would bring down prices. And surely if, 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 these, if I was a small, some small grocer somewhere in the center of Hamilton and they said, hey, we'll give you an extra 20% tax break if you make sure that you lower prices below these corporate chains. Of course, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a bunch of more business. And it's going to come from these other big grocers. Well, the best way to hurt these companies is to make sure that you hit them in the pockets. A price cap is not going to do it because they'll never, they'll never end up passing it anyway. What you can do is change the tax codes. Give tax breaks to smaller grocers. They lower the prices, therefore taking away business from these big grocers. That makes a lot more sense. Robert Kennedy Jr. in the States talks a lot about that. Changing tax codes to make it so that if you are practicing immoral capitalism will hit you so hard so hard in taxes it won't ever be worth it for you that's how you do this not with socialist policies and again i'll say it i've said it before i'll say it again never trust a socialist wearing a gold rolex you can also say never trust a, trust a socialist generally speaking but especially when they're wearing gold watches and they're you're living in a mansion he's posted videos of him in his kitchen before it, it, it looks like he lives in the future i mean He's got a very, very nice place, and he's very wealthy. He's got plenty of Gucci bags. This guy isn't on your side, man. He's on the side of his pension. And every time he talks, he just exposes himself as, as a complete dumbass, which is what he is. But hey, if he wants to keep uh, making these tours, embarrassing himself over and over and over again, he can go and do that. He can go and... I mean, nothing he's doing is helping his polls, his numbers in the polls. And eventually the NDP as a party is going to have to realize this and remove him and get an actual leader in there who does care about people. 
and it brings forth good policies like changing tax codes. If that's why, if you want to hurt corporations, you want to hurt immoral uh, practices of capitalism. That's how you do it. You want to get someone who wants to talk about, you know, paying off the national debt. That'd be a great idea. You want to bring someone in who's actually for the people on the center or sorry, on the left of center, that would be a great idea, but they're not. They're going to bring in another socialist, aren't they? Canadians have spoke, they're, they're speaking in these polls. And by the way, most people who take polls are like independents, populists, conservatives, people who are like me. We don't take polls and we know we're, 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 who we're voting for. So this number, this 42% for Pierre Polyev could be much higher. I think he could eventually get close to that 50% mark. Which, I mean, he would win, what, 240 seats if he got that much, which would be hilarious. But <clears throat> that being said, it's also important that Pierre Polyev keeps his promises, as I've said many times before. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, when Jagmeet Singh talks, does he change your mind and make you like him more or dislike him more? Or is it just you always dislike him no matter what because he's always a dumbass? Uh, let me know what you think about the polls and why the liberals... Uh, liberal supporters have not gone over to the NDP. They're going to the Conservatives instead. I always like reading and re reacting and uh, engaging with your comments. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back very shortly with another video.